guys welcome back to my youtube channel please don't mind the noise outside if there's a noise um it's because people are talking cha all right okay <laughs> all right uh but anyways uh welcome to my youtube channel i go by the name of renee lopiri and this is a get to know me video I know I have videos before this but I've never done a get to know with me so today I'm shooting a get to know me so that you guys can get to know what you are about to watch or what you are about to see on my channel and who I am who am I what I'm about etc 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 okay no 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 okay cut anyway <laughs> let's start all right so I am Rene Lopiri and I come from a small village of Lech Grau, uh, which is based in Muruling Northwest. Uh, I grew up in Mudigwe, so the whole day in Mudigwe, uh, Brits Northwest. That's where I lived for most of my life. So from since I was, I think, three months. That's what my parents and my grandma said. Yeah, I think three months. Yeah, I lived there <laughs> uh, since I was three months, not for three months. Okay, okay, so yeah, that's where I lived. I went to primary school in Life School Pans. I went to primary school in Life School Pans at Life School Pans. And in high school, uh, that's when I moved to Rustenburg. So I specifically lived in hostel the first two years of my high school life. Yeah. <coughs> if you know, you know. It was it was not nice, guys. Especially being being in grade eight and living in hostel. Traumatic. Traumatic, I tell you. Anyway. Um, and then uh, grade 10, I moved to my parents' house. And then I moved out and went to live uh, with my aunt uh, because it was much, much, much closer to school where my aunt lived, which was in Bardegral. <laughs> All right. So... After that, after I finished my trick, which was back in 2013, um, oh yes, I'm 26, turning 27 in a few days. Cha, <laughs> still not a millionaire, but we're gonna get there. So, anyway, um, in 2013, yes, I finished my trick in 2013, and then 2014. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that's when real life began. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's when real life began anyway. So uh, in 2014, I lived in Johannesburg. So 2014 and 2015, I lived in Johannesburg. 2014, that's when I upgraded and I failed dismally. I was upgrading math and then, yeah, I failed because, yeah, anyway, that's a story for another day. But then uh, 2015, I did a course, business management course at a TVET college. All right. And then 2016, I took a gap year. Yeah. So I went back and lived at my grandma's place again in Brits Northwest. Oh, sorry, guys. And then, yeah, so that's where I lived. And then, uh, but during that period, during the gap year period, I, 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 I registered, yeah, and then I wrote a mathematical literacy exam. So in that period, I studied for a couple of months, and then I think it was in June I wrote. Yeah, I studied by myself, by the way. Well, my mom helped me because she is um, a, a mathematical literacy teacher. So yeah, I studied and then I wrote the exam in June and obviously I passed. Okay, yes. So it, it, it clearly showed me that na I give one trigonometry guys. I'm not a trigonometry child. I'm a 
mathematical literacy child okay <laughs> anyway so uh moving past that 2017 uh yeah this is when my life got a bit exciting because i got to study something i've always 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 listen back when i was in high school when i was asked so Nele, what are you going to study i said sports management and right now i got the opportunity to study mathematics you i got the opportunity to study sports management okay fine sharp so that was in 2017 and then 2018 um 2019 i finished my diploma in sports management sports it's specifically sports and recreational management so that's what i was studying and where did i study that i went to the leading fitness and sports college in africa and they go by the name of eta so if you want to study anything if you want to study massaging if you want to study listen they also have short courses so like if you want to study anything sports and fitness related i do recommend that you go there if you know someone that yeah wants to study that and they have literally no options uh it's, it's a bit on the expensive side the fees but i recommend that you guys go there none quite obviously there are payment plans that you can you know talk about with the financial people there or yeah whoever's there when you get there <laughs> anyway so yeah it is a great school it is a great college so yeah and then 20 uh we initially graduated uh last year because you know 2020 mother f COVID happened anyway so yeah i graduated last year and then 2020 what i did was i was coaching netball and i was also studying n5 i was doing my n5 certificate in business management of which i did not i could not complete it because i was told the last minute that i am not on the list of the accounting exam that i had to take I never followed up they told me to go to the department of higher education i never went okay but i'm gonna go soon this year i'm gonna go there so anyway yeah that's what i was doing in 2020 and then the worst year of my life last year 2021 <laughs> 2021 all right i started off well okay i was an educator assistant at we are school brits and i thought that we would carry on with that but unfortunately we couldn't carry on uh sorry about the lighting of that i'm using natural lighting so if the lighting changes it's because the sun is fluctuating <laughs> it's busy going up and down anyway so oh in the clouds and out anyway so yeah 2021 the first three months i was uh, an educator assistant at work school brits and then after that um yeah wow i was doing i was at home yeah all right yeah i was at home at my i, I, I had moved back home uh when was it 2020 november i had moved back to my grandma's house um be, uh, before then i was living in pretoria mm -hmm. so i moved back home and then december i started my uh work uh as an educator assistant at work school friends right okay a lot of Afrikaans speaking happened from December to a March 31st of March that's when my our contract ended and then yeah 
um, from then I did mixtapes uh, looked for work obviously was desperate for work obviously as every graduate in this country is desperate for work all right so yeah that's what I was doing you know I'm also I've I've always loved DJing I've always wanted to DJ um, by the way deep house or house music so yeah that's what I'm into but I also love all kinds of music as long as it's music I like but if if when 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 I start DJing at public spaces I uh, I will be doing house music so yeah I also have tracks out and oh my go uh, so I also uh, do vocalisting I'm also a vocalist so spoken words so yeah your poems I also write that uh, for myself but yeah anyway I'm not focusing on that right now that is on hold because I'm trying to focus on what I really love right now and you know I had a conversation with my boyfriend and and I was like you know what I think I'm trying to do a whole bunch of things at once and I am failing dismally at all of them because I'm fo my focus is split into different one into different place and it was like you know what just leave everything and focus on what you want to do and that is what I'm doing right now focusing on the sports and fitness side which is something I'm very passionate about and that is what I chose to focus on right now even if it takes 10 years I'm I will be focusing on that forever actually and then all the other things that I can do I will do on the side though so yeah um yeah from April till July I was doing that mixtapes looking for work and then uh, I got a job an internship at a at the blue automobile company the if um, I don't want to say you know the name of the yeah the if at, at, at if at if at Brits if you know <laughs> So yeah, I, I got a job. I got an internship there, and it was one of the most horrible work experience in my uh, of my life. But yeah, December I had COVID, right? Of which uh, someone at that company who I don't know had a problem with me. That lady had a problem with me. Said I was pretending to have COVID. Anyway, but that's a story for another day. I'm definitely going to tell this one Anyway, so yeah and Obviously, I didn't know that while I was sick, but a, a Similar event had happened before I was sick. I couldn't come to work and she said I was pretending but anyway um, Yeah, so I one day while well, I had COVID uh, on a particular Monday I woke up and I sent in my resignation letter so we were I was hired by a company and then that company is the one that distributes the interns to the different to that to the different automobile you know uh, com uh, branches yes so yeah um on one particular monday clever at oha bona gataipa my resignation letter sent it through and then yeah after that i served my two week notice or should i say one week or should i say a few days because you know all the holiday of the, all the holidays in december um, and then yeah, so I served my notice and then that was it for me and that company So guys also help me Do you think it's wise if I wrote my experience there? 
I worked there for five months. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, this year, what is Renele doing in 2022? I am a coach, a nail ball coach, of which I love, 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 guys. I love coaching. I love coaching with all my heart, and I love working with kids. I love working with kids. I don't think, you know. <sighs> Man, I have nieces and nephews and they all love me. Come on, I'm the I'm the cool auntie, you know? <laughs> but you know, I love, you know, I love, I love, I love, I love working with kids. So I'm currently a coach and I currently teach English online. As you can see, uh, the charts are here, you know? So yeah. That's what uh, I'm currently doing right now. And I'm also starting my YouTube journey again. I started it, but then I stopped. I was focusing on music, but right now, like I said, I'm focusing on my number one passion, which is sports and fitness. And I will also be doing a bit of entertainment, you know, uh, videos, like vlogs of myself going out with my boyfriend or my friends whatever but yeah I will also take you guys along when I go to my coaching and 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 so yeah guys that is who I am and that is what I'm about Renella Perry okay I don't know what was a Perry in English is it Fox or Hyena I don't know anyway so that's me uh, and that's what I'm about guys and I hope that the content that I have for you guys that is coming I hope that you guys enjoy it okay I hope that you guys enjoy it and I hope that you guys engage with it and I hope that you guys will love it I will be dropping fitness listen I will be dropping fitness related videos so your exercises, your workouts, how to, you know, lose weight. Uh, I, uh, yeah, because I also, oh, so I have a sports management uh, diploma and I also did a fitness instructing certificate while I was at ETA. So, yeah, so I'm definitely qualified when it comes to giving a final one in terms of your form and whatever so yeah so yes guys uh thank you for watching if you're new here thank you for coming by and if you are a returning subscriber from my previous you know uh videos rather the music ones you know thank you for coming back by right so uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and if you have thank you uh and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video okay 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 so uh by the way i'm currently living in pretoria again uh so yes i just wanted to put that out yes i'm currently living in pretoria again so yeah i hope that um you guys enjoy your day or whenever with Whichever time you're watching this, I hope you have a great day further, great evening further. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Toodaloo.